Good evening, everyone. I am delighted to welcome everybody at our gala event. Welcome to the 13th Ceremony of Auto Best Edition 2014. Thank you. I'm very happy to be with you at such a wonderful and unique motoring event. My name is Anja Benjigowska and I'm honored to host tonight's gala. Autobest is an emerging motoring organization of Europe of the new millennium. It was established in the year 2000 in Bucharest, Romania by leading motoring riders from six countries of Europe, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Croatia, Serbia, Romania, and Slovakia. In the last 13 years, Autobest has organized the best buy car of Europe, competition based on a complex matrix of 13 criteria meant to offer to the car users in Europe a convincing argument as to which mainstream car is the best in a given year. Autobest is the first independent motoring jury of Europe taking care of mainstream customers, not mixing popular cars with luxury ones. But the Autobest jury is also paying attention to other relevant developments in the automotive industry. No wonder the Autobest award itself is accompanied by eight other prizes in eight different categories. And the categories are Smart Best, Techno Best, Sport Best, Safety Best, Men Best, Eco Best, Design Best, and Company Best. Today, Autobest jury members represent 15 countries, which are Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Cyprus, former Yugoslavian Republic of Macedonia, Greece, Hungary, Poland, Romania, Russia, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Turkey, and Ukraine. Each member of the jury is an outstanding motorist journalist, a respected voice in his own country. Autobest addresses a total market of more than 300 million people. Autobest Gala is the only motoring event where the executives from various automotive organizations share tables and enjoy each other's company. Today we have more than 40 international guests coming from no less than 25 different countries including car producers from three different continents. Each year, the Autobest Gala event is organized in a different country. This time, the honor comes to Poland. So, Warsaw, our famous capital, is hosting the motoring event of Europe. I am very proud, I hope you are as well. I would also like to welcome all the people watching us via live streaming on the website www.autobest.org. This is another first for Autobest Gala. So before we officially start our ceremony, let us enjoy together a short film about history, the history of Poland.
Now perhaps you know a little bit more about our beautiful country. One thing you know for sure, Polish people can fight. Welcome to Poland. And now it is my great pleasure to introduce the founder of AutoBest. This is the man who had the idea to launch a project perfectly suited for European needs. At the time, few people in the industry believed it was possible. After more than a decade, he and his co-founders and the remaining jury members proved that AutoBest concept is valid for both customers and the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the European leading motoring writers, the AutoBest founder and chairman, Mr. Dan Vardy. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, on behalf of AutoBest organization, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all here to the 13th, yes, one free, but we are not in America, edition of AutoBest Awards Gala. We are for the first time here in Warsaw, the secular capital of Poland, and that's great. We have a commitment to come with our event everywhere in our AutoBest region, giving every country the possibility to host probably the most meaningful gala in motoring Europe. The awards of this year represents an evolution of our AutoBest new approach philosophy. We enlarge the envelope for the awards as you will see later on. We have a long and legitimate history with many prizes, but we are also developing new ones to follow the market trends. Smart Best, introduced last year, is the first European award dedicated to infotainment on board. We are working on future developments. One being that by the end of 2015, beginning of 2016, more than 25 countries from all Europe will be represented in the jury, just in time for our 15th anniversary. But this is not the only one. We are already projecting developments to take place by 2020. Well, we learned from the car industry that advanced planning is crucial. Finding the market trends, in our case, both from the industry, but also inspired from the European customers is part of our strategy for the future. AutoBest organization is not only about AutoBest jury. And the awards you will see this evening are not the only subject of AutoBest organization. A second project is ready to start. It's called EcoBest Challenge. This is a completely new concept of Eco Rally, offering the car manufacturers, and I see several of them already here, the fair environment to prove the green performance of their green technologies. We will have eight categories of the green cars, including every kind of propulsion available on the market, from blue diesel and gasoline below one liter to battery electric vehicles, fuel cell, or solar energy. EcoBus Challenge will come with a new selection process of drivers for the rally, something it never happened yet. We will organize the first forum 360 degrees on the environmental issues and will give to the European customer the chance to have a real assessment. Real nature, real cars, real life. This is a realistic slogan of EcoBest Challenge. 
But what is really exceptional is the new metric we are developing with technical universities to assess the green performance from the customer perspective. It is a non-linear approach with completely new indexes subject for patent pending. It is a huge effort done by Autobest organization, but also other institutions and organizations, including the government of Romania. We will keep you posted on this unbelievable project. And there are more to come. But till then, we have in front of us a fantastic gala of the automotive industry. I am humble in front of you, thanking everybody to be here with us. Keep a, keep people from the car industry, international media, diplomats from many European countries, local authorities and car enthusiasts. But before going on, allow me to thank to some very special guests in this evening. First of all, I want to thank Dr. Kuniber Schmidt, which is the former Secretary General of VDA, the German Auto Industry Association, a personality of our industry, but also a close friend. Thank you, Kuni, for coming. We are all at Autobest excited to have Dr. Ralph Spett, the CEO of Jaguar Land Rover, who left the Prime Minister of the UK to be here with us. Thank you very much, Ralph. <laughs> and by the way, it's not a joke, it's a reality. Another dream come true, Jan Kalum, one of the most respected designers on the planet is here. Thank you, Ian, to be with us. <clears throat> Last but not least, I kept two names I treasure a lot. Two close friends and top executives who were supporting this project and the gala of this evening. Mr. Von Shin Chang, the president of Hyundai Asan, is one of them. Unfortunately, cannot be with us, but he was the first who started to understand, I will call it much better, the spirit of Autobest. And also, and I'm so happy to say hello to Mr. Byung Kwan Rim, the president of Hyundai Motor Europe, who is also with us. Thank you very much. Enjoy the evening, and now it's your stage. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Auto Best 2014 Gala has officially begun. So let's proceed to the awards. Let's start with the first of the nine categories, which is Sport Best 2013. Pay great attention to this category, checking the results following the motorsport performance of teams and individuals. Who is it going to be this time? The award in this category will be presented by Mr. Ioannis Stavropoulos, the jury member representing Greece. 
Thank you. And Oleg Vasilevsky, the jury member from Ukraine, please welcome them on stage. To drive Ferrari in motorsport is a dream. Winning with Ferrari is glorious. <laughs> Thank you, John. I was watching a film about the beautiful story of Poland, and I saw that there is not so much things you might mention in the newest history of my country, the Ukraine. It was a short film, you have to admit. Oh yeah, the one, but the one is going on right now in the center of the, of the, of the key, of the capital of the Ukraine, and it's a lot of news around, yeah. And the second one has been, has been done last year, the racing team Ukraine with Ferrari, the manager to be top place in the Ferrari Challenge Europe and the GT uh, series. And uh, at the pilot level, they secured the first for the Ferrari Challenge Europe and uh, Pirelli and the Pirelli Trofeo. Thank you very much, guys, for making the newest race in the history of my country. Please come on, on stage. The leading pilot of the team. Kruglik and Mr. Sergi Masiuk. Andre Kruglik is the leading pilot of the Ferrari team, Ukraine. Congratulations. Some applause would be right, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the, this award. Uh, we are happy to get this prize. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, AutoBest, had it followed our team's work. We will do our best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Now we're going to move on to the next categories, which are as follows, Techno Best, Safety Best, and Eco Best. Awards established many years ago and are now widely recognized as benchmarks.
Art Dance Complex. Let's give them a big hand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the next category, which is Techno Best 2014. <laughs> In this category will be presented by Vinko Kerns and Piotr Frankowski. Please welcome them on the stage. As always, you're the first. Good evening. Uh, in uh, the world of sports cars, uh, most people think that the key word is power. To quote the famous uh, British journalist, more power is the key. But in fact, it's much more important to know where you're going. And um, to uh, be able to control where you're going, you need a part of the car that's called steering. And it seems that since the first cars of the 19th century, nothing has changed because you usually steer with the front wheels and the car goes sort of where you want. But there has been a significant development in the world of high-powered sports cars, and it's the active rear-wheel steering of Porsche, introduced recently on the GT3 and the turbo models of the 991 range. And we feel it's uh, such a significant development in this area that we decided to give Porsche the uh, Techno Best Award this year. Dr. Christoph. Bittner. Let's welcome him to the stage. Dr. Christoph Bittner, uh, the head of steering system at Porsche AG. Applause! Congratulations. Anything you want to say? Thank you very much for this award. It's a great honor to receive it. And it's a great inducement for us to improve even in the future, to be able to provide you the best handling cars and to move with a Porsche intelligent performance also in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations again. And we're going to move on to the next category, which is Safety Best 2013. that safety is a crucial factor when we buy a new car. 
Nowadays, we have sophisticated technical safety packages which defy the imagination. Such systems require years of research and hard work. The award in this category will be presented by Mladen Alvirovic and Krumislav Barzo. Let's welcome them on stage. Well, you said really good that safety is uh, connected to a lot of research, a lot of investment. And no, uh, there was a time not so long time ago uh, when safety was not top priority of any manufacturer. It was a design, speed, performance. Then there was another time which was also not so long time ago when safety was reserved for premium, for really wealthy customers. And all of those nice systems that are developed, that are invested in, were just kept away from ordinary customer. But now Autobest has recognized, we can surely say, a new milestone in auto industry something which deserves not to be just awarded, but the manufacturer that deserves to be followed. Thank you, Modern. Um, it's uh, very hard to say something uh, after you. I mean, <laughs> everything is said. Uh, uh, safety was a privilege, as you said, for a premium segment, but uh, thanks to Nissan, uh, now the safety is privilege uh, for the common people and for the common cars. That's why this year this award goes uh, in uh, hands of. Let's welcome to the stage Andrei Akifiev from Nissan. An applause, please, please. Congratulations. This beautiful award is yours. Ladies and gentlemen, Safety Best 2013. Anything you might want to say? Yes, just a few words. Uh, normally say thanks mom, thanks dad. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> what they say at the Oscars at least. I really want to thank uh, engineers who make it happen. And in fact, it's a great pleasure for me to be here tonight uh, to share all this uh, with all of you. Uh, it's a great uh, privilege uh, to receive such important award on behalf of the company and I'm glad that uh, Afterbase noticed our company effort to bring um, advanced safety technology um, for B-segment vehicles. And I really appreciate this um, assessment and this evaluation because I know it was done by highly professional experienced jury members. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and congratulations again. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the Safety Best 2013, and uh, we're going to move to the next category, which is Eco Best 2013. This is probably one of the most legitimate awards presented by AutoBest. Nowadays, it is the European accolade for the best green technologies, both in cars and manufacturing. The award in this category will be presented by Vladimir Rybetsky. Please welcome him on stage. EcoBest is award, we are very proud of it. You know, uh, we introduced that uh, award in a time when uh, nobody talking about the uh, green cars. Uh, our target is uh, not awarded the eco cars, 
but uh, let me say uh, about it, the eco thinking. If you look uh, to the winners from the past, you can uh, see clean evidence of that philosophy. Now, um, most people when are talking about the green cars or eco cars, uh, thinking that it's uh, cars with electric power. But we decided uh, that we are looking for the little bit different uh, technology. The compressed nature gas is most suitable uh, fuel suit, uh, uh, which uh, can it change uh, for the uh, petrol or the uh, diesel. Uh, CNG cars, there, there are thousands of the CNG cars on the European roads, but the only brand used all their models with the CNG cars is the Fiat. Even they used that uh, even for the commercial vehicles. So that was the reason we decided to use that uh, award for the Fiat and its uh, Programma Metano. Eco Best 2013 goes to Fiat. Let's welcome on stage Gianluca Italia from Fiat. Applause, please. Congratulations and thank you. Eco Best 2013. It's, it's mine now. Uh, first of all, thank you very much. Um, I think you made a good point. Uh, nowadays, there are several technologies. But at Fiat, we believe that um, every technology should be very accessible to the consumers and, of course, ecological at the same time. This is why we invest a lot on CNG. We sold over 600,000 cars uh, so far. So it's an important uh, technology. Uh, we also introduced the turbo version now so that our customer can also have fun while driving a CNG car. So thanks again and I uh, hope to see you soon again. Uh, near future, hopefully. An important future for Fiat. We are launching several models starting from the new crossover this year. So thanks again. Thank you for being eco-friendly. <laughs> EcoBest 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, this uh, is turning out to be a very emotional ceremony and uh, we're only halfway through. Now it's time for a 20 minute break. Uh, in this time you are welcome to try the dishes prepared, especially for this event by chef of Novota Warsaw Airport. So please enjoy and I'll see you in 20 minutes.
ladies and gentlemen, art, dance, com complex and the chili ladies. Some awards have been handed, but there are more to come. The upcoming categories are Design Best, Smart Best, Men Best and Company Best. This category is my personal favorite, Design Best 2013. This year, the Auto Best jury found it especially easy to decide on the winner as he deserves to stand hand in hand with the other legendary car designers. I will tell you his name in a second, but first I will invite to the stage Maxim Kadakov and Okan Altan. Please give them a warm welcome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's very pleasure to see all of you here together with us, with our best team. And let me introduce our next nomination, uh, Design Best. Everybody knows how easy it, it is uh, to discuss a car design, how simple it is to talk about uh, benefits or drawbacks of uh, lines, colors, about shapes of new concept cars and prototypes. It's very easy. Everybody can do it. But on the other hand, it's very, very difficult to draw a real, a production car that will appeal to all customers, to motoring journalists, to manufacturers, and even the awful people who think only about car, uh, sorry, cost saving. And it's especially hard to do it when we're talking about premium cars. That's why I personally very glad, i happy that uh, such talented car designer as uh, Jan Colum uh, steer and lead the design uh, Jaguar Design Studio. As I remember, in uh, 1999, already 15 years ago, Jan Colum was uh, appointed a successor of famous uh, Jeff Lawson as design director at Jaguar. After several hard uh, uh, years of work uh, with the new uh, next generation design models, Mr. Colum took Jaguar away from Lawson uh, era of retroism towards to uh, completely another new style, new design language. Uh, this began with 2006 XK models. Everybody knows these two wonderful cars, I mean coupe and convertible. After that, it was uh, followed by uh, 2008 XF models. I personally, personally well, uh, crazy about this uh, four-door sedan. Very, very interesting car. And of course, with 2010 Jaguar XJ. All these cars, I, I, I should tell you, all these cars are very, very popular in Russia. 1,700 cars, Jaguar, Jaguar cars, was, uh, were sold uh, last year in Russia. It's a big, very big success. And now we have, we can see and we can drive the totally new, uh, two fantastic, very interesting, very stylish two-door cars. I mean totally new Jaguar F-Type coupe and convertible. Both these models, I mean coupe and convertible, are very stylish, very attractive, very sexy cars. That's why we decide that our prestigious Design Best Awards go to Mr. Jan Kellen. 
I was just maybe thinking maybe your colleague wanted to say something before we... Okay, then let, wake, welcome to the stage, Mr. Elon Cullen from Jaguar Land Rover. But, but before giving him this very important award, Design Best Award, I have a question to you, Jan. Uh, yes, <laughs> we couldn't catch you very easily. <laughs> uh, in the automotive industry, there are so many designers, uh, but some of them are very lucky, who, are, who can who, who have the chance to design legendary cars, legendary brand. May I ask you, it's a difficult thing to change the design of a legendary brand. You have a huge amount of legacy to live with, and you really have to respect that. And the thing I found with Jaguar is, rather than copying everything from the past, was really to look deep into the soul of the brand, work out the values that really started off all those years ago. I'm talking about Jaguar 50, 60, 70 years ago, and working those, working those values through to a modern car. So yeah, it's an enormous amount of weight on the shoulder, especially if you're doing a car like the F-Type, for instance, and of course the previous one was the E-Type. I mean, what a, what a legacy to live with, but what a burden sometimes. But it's also great fun. I mean, I have one of the best jobs in the world. I design sports cars. How many designers would want to design sports cars? In fact, I've designed more sports cars than sedans. You have every um, little boy's dream job. Sorry? You have every little boy's dream job. Absolutely, <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have my little boy's dream job. In fact, when I was about four years old, I decided I was gonna design cars and it's uh, never stopped since then. But what I will say is that I don't often get an award with my own name on it. I often go and pick up awards with usually F-Type or XF or something. So this is very, very precious to me. But behind my name is a great team, I have to say. And you know them, you've met them. A great team. And uh, this is as much for them as it is for me. Thank you very much. Congratulations you very much. on the award. <laughs> Applause, please. Thank you very much. Design best, ladies and gentlemen. Time for our next category, and the next category is Smart Best 2013. Say reflection on the water, more than darkness in the dark. Team serpents and never a shadow on the wind. I feel his breath. Golden eye, I found his weakness. Golden eye, I'll do what I please. Golden eye, no time for sweetness, but a bitter kiss will bring him to his knees. Smart Best is the newest award introduced by Auto Best. It concerns smart infotainment systems installed in cars. It might have been about the speed, acceleration, and horsepower in the past. Nowadays, the car is becoming a huge tablet computer. This is the new name of the game in the car industry. The award in this category will be presented by Ozran Adamovic and Borisov Yenov. Please welcome them on the stage. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As the young lady said, the Smart Best is our new award. We introduced it last year, but it's actually this year very simple. We all have smartphones. We want to connect them. And Chevrolet did the most important thing. They made it simple, affordable, and available in their all of their range. So it was an easy choice. Yeah, it was. So well, let's welcome to the stage Jasna Stilionovic from Chevrolet. Congratulations. Smart Best 2013. 
Um, so I would like to thank you for a such beautiful award. Uh, it shows the future of the technology. It shows how the cars will be connected with the mobile phones. And who knows in the future what cars can will do. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations again. And we are going to move on to the next category, which is Men Best 2013. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. But it would be nothing. This is a man's world This is a man's world But it would be nothing This award is about appreciation for managers who made history, satisfied shareholders as well as customers and employees. These are professionals able to perform efficiently even in times of crisis. Some of them are uniquely able to turn a crisis into their advantage. The award in this category will be presented by Mr. Dan Fadi. Please welcome him to the stage. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have this enormous privilege to introduce uh, this year Men Best. To my shame, the first person who was talking to me about the winner of this night is uh, another winner of Men Best, Carl Peter Foster. He was telling me, Dan, you know, we are going to Jaguar Land Rover to do a good job. Uh, and I said, and you will run the company. He said, no, no, it is someone else. My God, it's not Carl Peter. Who is it? And he told me, it's this person. To my shame, at that moment, I said, my God, who is this person? Because that person was working in the car industry for a long time in the German industry, not only cars for a while, but he was always a humble person. He was always a pro. He was always careful to fulfill the job and to deliver satisfaction to everybody. I do not remember many executives in the industry so focused in everything and so humble. Always trying to not bullshit the media and not bullshit the, the people working with him. A person who was always a team member a person who never accepted an award or uh, some applause by himself. He was always saying, guys, I'm not alone. But this person, in very few years, managed to convince the worldwide business in car industry that you can take a company which was declared almost going to the bankruptcy by the former owner to a worldwide astonishing success. If I tell you that today, most of you know that Jaguar Land Rover is doing billions, billions of euros in profit. Three years ago, four years ago, everybody will say, are you crazy or what? Ladies and gentlemen, this person who defy crisis, who understand that excellent product, excellent services, excellent design, Excellent everything by the end of the day counts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce. Let's welcome on stage Mr. Ralf Spett from Jaguar, Jaguar Land Rover.
congratulations. So in a man's world, we have a nice lady, by the way. So I just want to say thank you very much for this unbelievable award, and I feel really honored. Uh, but business, as I said, is people, and it's a team. And we, as a very small company, we really want to do very, very special things for our special customers. And so we have the very best engineering combined with this British design. And this is done by people. And so I'm very happy to have with me here Ian Cullum and Fiona just as member of the team. And I really accept this award just on behalf of the team. So thank you very much. And I think it's a fantastic evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. I really admire your modesty. Congrats. This was Man Best 2013, and the next category, and it's um, the final category, Company Best 2013. The Company Best Award honors the car company which displays outstanding results. The new approach strategy of AutoBest enlarged the scope of this award to include professional organization. And this is the case this year. The award in this category will be presented by Mr. Petros Soutsis. I'm sorry for that. Please welcome him to the stage. I am sure he will forgive me. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is going to be the first time in our history that uh, a car manufacturer won't take the company best award. As Mr. Danvarti said earlier, this is a part of our new approach, our new strategy. And who's going to take the award? Let's welcome to the stage Mr. Eckhard Rother and uh, Kunibert Schmidt from VDA. The VDA, the German Association of German Automobiles. Congratulations. This is a moment when you have to say something. Thank you very much. Oh, I see you're prepared. I'm prepared, you know. Um, uh, I'm very pleased and I uh, think it's the first time that the association got this prize, not a company. So even we are waiting for the dinner. Um, I want to give you some information about the VDA. Ladies and gentlemen, dear Mr. Vardy, as the representative of the German Association of the Automotive Industry and on behalf of VDA President Wismann and the entire VDA management, I wish to express my very sincere thanks for this decision by the jury. The VDA is extremely honored by this award in the category Company Best 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, what is the VDA about? It simply consists of our members, more than 600 companies, automotive manufacturers and suppliers 
with annual sales totaling 360 billion euro and a regular workforce exceeding 760,000 in Germany. So the VDA sees itself as the service provider for and the voice of its members. Of course, the VDA is always only as good as the cooperation with its members and the commitment they show. And the VDA there is a strong sense of cohesion. One expression of this is the fact that our companies are active in over 50 working groups within the association. We at the VDA, therefore, accept the prize above all. On behalf of our members, it is they who deserve the prize. One unique selling point of the VDA is the fact that all the manufacturer groups of the automotive industry are organized under the VDA umbrella. That is passenger cars, commercial vehicles and suppliers, uh, big players as well as many, many small and medium-sized companies. Naturally, opinion formation within the association is not always easy. But the members know that together we can achieve more and we make our voice heard more effectively when we pull together than when each of us acts alone. The VDA has a long tradition. It was founded in 1901 in Eisenach, Thüringen. The association has therefore played an active role in the automobile's worldwide success story. At the beginning, at the beginning of 2010, the VDA combined its three German sites into one central office in Berlin. This involved our move from Frankfurt to Berlin. The VDA's General Assembly had decided that the head office should be located where Germany's economic policy decisions are taken. This development also triggered a process of regeneration within the organization and among its crew. Major changes occurred in the team. Old hands bringing their know-how from, uh, from Frankfurt to Berlin were joined by new members of staff. We are pursuing clear objectives in our press and PR work, and maybe this is a little bit more interesting for you journalists, to always be available for the media, to make competent statements, to respond rapidly to media inquiries, to provide facts and figures of consistently high quality, and to be clearly oriented on journalists. However, the VDA is not only an association, but also the organizer of the world's most important automotive trade fair, the International Motor Show IIA, which is held every year. It takes place alternately as the IAA Cars or Frankfurt Motor Show, you know, and the IAA Commercial Vehicles, which take place this year in September in Hanover. The large number of world premieres unveiled at the IAA also points up the quality of this motor show just as much as the fact that the entire automotive value added chain can be seen at the IAA. Furthermore, the VDA represents the interests of its members in the field of economic policy and on many technological topics. Ladies and gentlemen, the automotive sector is the branch of industry in Germany that has the highest level of export. Three out of four cars built in Germany are exported. At the same time, the German vehicle industry has become more international over the last 10 years. Manufacturers and suppliers are expanding their production in other countries directly in the markets of the consumers. This, we say, two-pillar strategy, combining exports and local production, brings advantages to both sides. Alongside the strong drive for innovation, this internationalization is one reason for the competitive position 
the German automotive industry enjoys around the globe. One car in five that is newly registered anywhere in the world comes from a German group brand. Our global market share in the premium market in fact amounts around 80% worldwide. Now come to him. This internationalization is also reflected in the PR work of the VDA. We hold our own press conferences at the automotive trade shows in Detroit, in Shanghai, Moscow, New Delhi, which has been a couple of days ago, and Geneva. Brussels is also becoming increasingly important for communication because nearly all the legal requirements within the EU are determined in Brussels. The CO2 regulation is just one example. The new EU member states constitute a significant market for the German automotive industry and its group brands. A total of 750,000 new cars were sold in the new EU countries in last year. The market share going to the German group brands came to more than 45%. This means that we are moving closer to the market share that we already have in Western Europe, where it amounts to 50%. So we can see that in the new EU member states, the desire for a car of one's own is at least as pronounced as in Western Europe. So, last sentence. How many pages this, was that? Just a second. <laughs> this offers uh, just as much potential to you, the automotive journalist, as it does to the automotive industry. On behalf of VDA, may I again, and finally, <laughs> thank you, you, very, very much for this Autobest Award. And I want to give a, give a big hand to Mr. Kunibert Schmidt because he is the Mr. VDA. He worked for 30, 35 years for the VDA and he made this organization a real, a global one. And I want to give him the microphone for additional two or three sentences, if you like. Do you have, do you have a speech prepared as well? <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention. I think it's a big honor for all of us. It's a big honor for our team in Berlin. And bye-bye, and we'll see you the next time. Company Best 2013. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. And also, congratulations to all the winners. Um, in a moment, the grande finale, but uh, before that, another 20 minute break during which you can enjoy the wonderful food. See you in 20 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again. I hope that you are ready for the grand final. Everybody has been waiting for this moment. It is the very core of the entire Autobest concept. And Autobest is the organization which is a registered trademark in all of Europe and beyond. Please welcome on the stage Mrs. Ilia eh, Saliktar, the president of the jury of Autobest. Applause, please. Thank you. Do you want to say? Do you want to say something? I just uh, said some compliments to the ladies. Very nice, uh, typical Polish beauties. Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of the band. Uh, just before entering the hall, I was uh, witness of uh, conversation between uh, top guys in industry. A very, let's say, amazing moment for me me when uh, Mr. Spett uh, uh, said that uh, Hyundai did amazing uh, job in uh, hiring the position of models in uh, case of uh, design 
and technical level. And uh, I think uh, uh, this is uh, a real situation. And this is the reason why we choose the winner this night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time for the Grand Prix Autobus 2014. Autobus 2014. The best car of Europe is the new i10, a Hyundai designed for European markets and for European customers, built with pride in Turkey. I think it's time to invite um, the representation of Hyundai, Mr. Byung von Rien. Did I pronounce it correctly? <laughs> Applause, please, ladies and gentlemen. This is the grand final of tonight's gala. Congratulations. Mr. Thomas Schmidt and Mr. Byung von Lin. Uh, thank you. Which one of you wants to say something? It's going to be you, okay? Do you allow me? <laughs> okay, I do allow since it's the grand final. <laughs> thank you, uh, Chairman and all the juries of Autobest and uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor to be with you today. 
I am delighted to accept the Auto Best Award for New Generation I-10. I'd like to thank the esteemed jury for selecting our latest car as winner this year. This award is very important to Hyundai. And it is the second time a Hyundai car has won Auto Best after the Elantra two years ago. We want Hyundai to become the world most loved brand. Your recognition motivates us to work even harder to achieve this goal. To continue to design, develop, and build new vehicles relevant to European buyers. New Generation I-10 is a perfect example of our ambition. It was designed in Germany. It displays an eye-catching style that has been inspired by Flodic sculpture. It features quality standards and craftsmanship from the class above. It delivers a fun and engaging drive. And it is pro produced in locally in Turkey, as he mentioned. We have built Hyundai quality into every new generation item. This is what our customers expect. Our quality promise is supported by our industry-leading five-year unlimited mileage warranty. We are very proud of this car. And I'm very proud to receive the 2014 Auto Best Award for Hyundai. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for naming our new generation I-10 as the winner of Auto Best 2014. Everybody knows that today is uh, Valentine's Day. I Mr. strongly Byung, believe that. Mr. Byung von Riemann, Mr. Thomas Schmidt receiving an award for Hyundai Autobest 2014. Last word. Oh, applause. Last word. <laughs> you know, today is a Valentine's Day. So I strongly believe that uh, this big award would be the best present and the greatest honor to all Hyundai family in Europe tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And congratulations again. The Auto Best Anno Domini 2014 Gala has passed into history. So I would like to invite all the winners on the stage for a group picture. All the winners to the stage, please. Or the jury members that presented awards as well for a group photo. Don't be shy. Come on up. Come on. We're waiting for you on the stage. All the winners and the jury members for a nice family picture. All the well-dressed men and ladies for a group picture. Auto Best 2014 group picture.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Again, congratulations to all the winners. AutoBest 2014. Now there will be more uh, eating, drinking, socializing, and uh, chili ladies on stage. Thank you very much for participating and being very um, being very active on today's event. Thank you very much.